The Pokemon 151 expansion is looking to be truly amazing, and the best thing about it is, you can currently order it on the Pokemon Center Japan for MSRP. How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and in this video I want to show you how you can order not just the current Pokemon 151 expansion, but also any product you really want, given that it is in stock. So there are a few things that may be very helpful. One thing, either if you use Google Chrome, you already have a built-in translate, which is going to be really helpful. If you're like me though and you use Firefox or maybe a different browser, I highly suggest getting the Google Translate add-on or anything that's similar. It's going to be really helpful, trust me. As you can see right here, I have mine already running. If I were to show original, I wouldn't know what any of this means. So this is really helpful to just have running on a page, just so you know what it actually means. I mean, the other thing you will need is, of course, a credit card to pay the initial order of the Pokemon Center Japan. For the proxy address, which we're going to get to in a second, you can use PayPal, you can use something else. But for the Pokemon Center Japan, you do need a credit card. Right, once you have all of that set up, there are a few different proxy services you can use. I personally use Tenzo. I have made one order with them so far, and I am really happy with what they have done. They were really, really quick, and they're truly awesome. There is something else called Blackship. I do know of a few people who prefer using these guys over Tenzo. I haven't used them before, so I couldn't say if they're better or worse but I thought I put it in this video right here. To move forwards with the tutorial though, I will be going through these steps for Tenso. So once you have registered your account, this is what your page will look like. Now I'm pretty sure the address is completely the same. The only thing different will of course be your full name and the Tenso account number, which is what they actually use to tell which package is yours. So if you want to know how to enter, there is a really good link right here. You just click on how to enter the Tenso address, and this is the page you will be guided to. There are a few different things here, not just for Pokemon Center Japan. There's also a specific instruction for Rakuten or many different sites. This is not exclusive to Pokemon Center Japan. You can really use this on, well, any Japanese online shop, really, if you really wanted to. For the sake of this tutorial, though, I will show you how to set it up for the Pokemon Center Japan. So, once you have set up your proxy address and everything, it's time to register on the Pokemon Center Japan website. Now, this may look confusing, but do not worry, I will guide you through each step. And this is also where a translator will come in really handy. In case you don't know what something means, you can just translate it very quickly. Now in this first line right here, this is where you would enter your name just normally. For the sake of this tutorial, I will be going with John Doe. Now in this second line right here, this is where you would paste your name in Katakana. If you head over to your Tenso How to Enter website right here, they do provide a link. If we click this right here, we get to this page. Just enter your name normally right here and convert to Katakana. And then we just take all of this, we hit Ctrl C to copy everything, go over to Pokemon Center Japan again, click in this field, Ctrl V, and there we go. The next line is the date of birth, which for me it's already there since my account is already registered. Afterwards, it's the gender. You can either use male or female. If you don't know what anything means, don't worry. This is where the translate will come in. We just translate and then we can see gender, male or female. The next line is the postal code and something that I like to do if I don't know exactly what something means is I like to copy whatever this one is, go over to how to enter Tenso and then just hit Control F to bring up the search menu at the bottom and then just paste in what I just copied and you can see right here okay that is the postal code now for the pokemon center japan they specifically tell you if we just copy this paragraph down here and hit translate selected text please enter half width numbers without hyphens so we know usually there would be a hyphen in here they don't want that so we enter it without 
Now the next line is choosing the prefecture, in this case it would be Tokyo, and this is where the translate option for the page is extremely helpful, because as when we just translate this, we can actually read what all of these different prefectures are. So we just choose Tokyo, and if we also go over to how to enter and we just translate this real quick, we can also see Tokyo and we can also do a little comparison right here. And once we untranslate this page, we can see, okay, that is the correct prefecture that we have just selected. Now, the next line is the city. So once again, as per usual, copy it from the Pokemon Center website, paste it in here. And there we have it. This is the, that's the city. So we just copy that again and paste it in here. Now, the next line is the street and the house number. So once again, if you're not sure, we can also just copy it from Tenso itself and do the same thing on the Pokemon Center website. Just hit Ctrl F to bring up the search menu, paste in what you've just copied and then OK. We can make sure, yes, that is in fact the street name and number. So once again, we just copy it and paste it right in here. Now the next line is really important because the next line will be where you will paste your Tenso account number, which will be completely different from mine. You can't see mine because I will have censored it, but it's the G in your full width character and also G in the half width character. So just paste everything. Also the, the stuff after the numbers and just paste everything in here. The phone number is also really important in case the Pokemon Center Japan needs to contact the proxy address, so we just paste it in right here as well. The next lines are pretty self-explanatory, and we can also just translate the whole page. As you can see, it's email, email address confirmation, and of course password and password confirmation. Once you have filled everything out, there is nothing else to do but to confirm. Now, once you have everything set up, then congratulations, you have your proxy address. Now you can order from the Pokemon Center Japan or any other website that you want to set this up on. I already ordered something back in April this year, which were just a bunch of sleeves right here. But if we just check the order right here, you can see this is the address that we have just entered, of course. My Katakana characters and the full dresses and of course the most important thing is the Tenso number. Most of this will most likely be censored, but I'll, I'll try to make the most important stuff visible. Now, once you have ordered something from the Pokemon Center Japan, it will take some time until they ship it. In the case of the Pokemon 151, it might take several months from now on until they actually ship it. But once they do, it won't take long until Tenso receives it at their warehouse. And this is where your items will end up. They will end up in pending items. And you do need to do a few things here and there. For the most part, you need to enter the value of the items you've bought. That is mostly for the insurance, but also for customs and tax. And of course, you have to also choose a shipping method. Now, there are a few different shipping methods, as you can see right here. You can just choose whichever you're most comfortable with. I highly suggest you do not choose Surface. Because as you can see right here, the delivery will take up to one to three months, which basically just means they will ship it by boat. And that will take a really long time. For my first order, I chose EMS and it actually got here pretty quickly. So here is where I entered the value of all the items. I paid 7000 yen in total for the order from Pokemon Center Japan. And this is the international shipping fee. I chose EMS. And I paid 40 euros for shipping. I do have to say though the package was pretty big. For a booster box it will most likely be a bit lighter and a bit smaller. So I don't think you will pay as much as I did. Well and that's about everything there is to it. It's pretty easy to set up the proxy shop in my opinion. I mean if I can do it you can do it right? If you have any questions, then by all means put them in the comments below. I will try to answer all the questions you have. If you have trouble or something, I will try to help you out. Welp, but that's all from me for this video. If you enjoyed it, then a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Consider subscribing for more awesome content in the future. And thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.